And he gets a hold of one here. This one is going to right field. Buck Slider, let's go! Hello and welcome. My name is Casey, and you are tuned into Super Mega Baseball, the fall winter season. Today, we have a four game set. The Moose are up against the Wild Pigs. So let's see what's going on. The Moose have been on a bit of a losing streak lately. Uh, we've lost our last three games, and I feel like our last uh, handful of series have not really gone the way we wanted. So hopefully with this four game set, we can kind of get, get, our, get our mojo back, get our stride a little bit. Thankfully, we are still in the top of the division. Uh, we're tied with the Sandcats, and it's our, you see our run differential is minus four. That is not where we want to be, especially when you see the gra grapplers in the other division at plus 59. <laughs> um, that's outrageous. Uh, where are, yeah, the Wild Pigs are at the bottom of the division, so hopefully we can beat up on them. Let's see what we're looking at the lineups. Yeah, Fred Bobbitt is absolute trash. He's going to have to sit out this game. Thankfully, Nixon can come back in. Roman Rhodes, but like, Buck Swiner's not feeling good. Irie Fast is tense. Rip Dingers is tense. Jackson is tense. Nacho Crisp is on fire. He is an absolute stud. Uh, and I don't know what this team would be doing without him. Let's jump into it and make something happen. Game one, Moose versus the Wild Pigs. We got Rhiannon and Cannon on the bump. She's been okay for us. Hopefully she can start finding her true self here. She has the ability to be an absolutely phenomenal starter. Nacho Chris dives and stops that ball. He is just playing well beyond his ability. And it's nice to see. At least somebody is trying to contribute for this team right now. And they go first pitch and just swipe it easily to boot it was a ball so that's not great and they barrel it nacho chris can't get to that one and this is likely going to score a run the throw comes in and it's wild too so the wild pigs are up one nothing in the first let's get him chasing outside now and he swings over the curveball strike three and rhiannon cannon strikes out the side Strike three on Frank Battery. Four Ks in a row for Rhiannon Cannon. Oh, man, and Moon makes contact and barrels it over. Wiggles Freeman doesn't grab it. Now Irene Fast has trouble in right, and Moon is in there with a shallow double. That is infuriating for Cannon. You get four Ks in a row, and the first ball put in play after that is just bobbled around like it's... Nobody knows what to do with it. And Moon steals third. And this count is full. It's sent into left field. That'll score another one run for the Wild Pigs. And their speed is killing. I felt a little low. Perry Quaker drives this one to left center field, and it is just over the wall. Home run for Perry Quaker. 397 feet, and Perry Quaker gives the Moose their first run of this game. It's 2-1. to one. And This one's sent right up the middle. I mean, that at-bat was just a struggle every pitch for Cannon. Let's see if we can't get a ground ball out of Man and Moon here. Immediately leaves for second, and he is safe in there. That was a close play. I feel like we should have had that call. Chases the cutter up and in for strikeout number one. It's got to be like six or seven strikeouts minimum for Cannon already. This one is sent into center field. Tremendo can't get there. And this is going to score another run. And he gets the second. They cut it off and he's there. That is outrageous speed. It's so frustrating. He goes on the pitch and this is going to score another one. 
Wild Pigs are up four to one. God damn. On the ground and Nacho Chris, they try to get him at two and he's out, but can't get him at one. Turning double plays is very difficult against this team when they all have 60, 70 speed. Man, Cannon is hurting. This one's sent to deep left field and it is gone over the wall. Home run. That is frustrating. 410 feet for Spanky Wagner. And the Wild Pigs get up 6-1. to one. Rip Dingers dives and makes a stop the ball down the line, but he is safe. The speed is ridiculous from this team. It is so frustrating. Swings over the fastball for strikeout one for Charlie Best. Bad pitch from Charlie Best. This gets away, and they're going to move up to second easily. Uh, that would have been a double play ball, but this is the Quaker at first, and he just takes the out at one. So two away for Charlie Best now. Min and Moon comes in. Not sure where these pitches are really missing here, and this is going to be right in the middle. And he punishes him for it. Tremendo's going to get it, but it's 7-1 to one for the Wild Pigs. Fouling everything off. And barrels this into left field. Just an infuriating at bat. And this one is on the ground at Dingers. He's going to throw this to first and make the play for the third out. But the Wild Pigs get another one on here. And so it's 7-1. And Hardman is in with a double and one away. Alba sends this on the ground. Chris dives and knocks it down, but a run will score and it's eight to one. Misses in the middle and she is punished for it. This is to the wall, bounces off and Irene picks it up and it's an RBI double. Wild Pigs are up nine to one. And this is starting to get very ugly. Looking at good pitches to hit, though. This one is into center, and it gets down. So Jackson gets himself a hit. Probably not enough to get him out of his funk. But it's something. Right? It's, a, it's a good first step. Perry Quaker, and he had that home run earlier in the game. And he gets another one here. Perry Quaker not going down without a fight. Home run for the big belly bully 450 feet his 19th on the year and the moose are within six it's nine to three and they need a big rally to find their way back into this but freeman just pops up the first pitch he sees center fielder calls for it and that's the ball game moose lose nine to three Tough game for the Moose. Had a hard time getting much going against uh, the starter, Wes Yogurt. Um, and really, like, that one inning with Cannon just kind of let everything go. You know, you got to think if there was a better management decision. You know, Chuck Best had come in and been able to shut them down. That momentum wouldn't have really carried that far. And that it might have been 3-2, to two, right? You never know. We got game two coming up for the Moose against the Wild Pigs. Let's see if the Moose can bounce back and come away with a win. We got Joffrey Rockman against Durbin Holmes. I mean, stats-wise, these pitchers are very comparable, but the way that Joffrey has been pitching has been spectacular when he hasn't been taking balls to the face. Okay, so they have been passing something around the locker room couple players on their team are juiced right now they're excited to get into this lineup after last game i guess Ugh. don't love that oh on the ground up the middle that was a great pitch from rockman 
And it doesn't matter. Swings over the changeup. Strikeout. Out number two for Jeffrey Rockman. And he rocks this one high and deep to right field. And it's a home run for Spanky Wagner in the bottom of the first. 383 feet. And the Wild Pigs are up two to nothing. All right, full count to Wiggles. And he works a walk. Good eye on the change up inside. And that's a great nine hitter in Wiggles. Turn that over for Nacho Crisp. Back up the middle for Nacho Chris. So the first two batters gone for the Moose in the third. And they need to capitalize on this. Jackson on the ground up the middle. Michaels makes the play. Roper gets him at first. And Jackson's doubled up at first. <sighs> two away now for Perry Quaker. There's a runner on third. But that is a, a disappointing at bat from Jackson. Quaker is up the middle, so the Moose are going to get a run in this, thanks to Perry Quaker. No diving stop from the middle infield on that one. And it's 2-1. to one. Curveball just catches the inside edge. But the slider is in the middle, and Irene drives it back up the middle. Two strikes, she goes. It's a ball low, and Irene is safe at second. And this one is popped up into shallow right field. Irene fakes the run and is back at second. Bobbitt sends this into right field. Irene's going to take the turn as Flash Evans goes. They cut it off and they are going to get Bobbitt hung up. But the run has scored. Bobbitt is tagged out on the base pass. But this game is tied at two. And Wiggles gets it up the middle, so he has been on base both times he's come to the plate. And just doing a phenomenal job in that nine spot. The 2-2 two -two to Crisp. And he loops it into shallow left. This gets down, and so Crisp is on with a single. And there's two on in the top of the fifth for Hieronymus Jackson. Jackson barrels this one. It goes straight up to center field. Moon quickly gets it, though. Wiggles doesn't have a ton of speed. So it's bases loaded. Net away in the top of the fifth for Perry Quaker. Quaker rips this up the middle, and it gets down. Chris is going to be held at third on the throw, but the Moose get one, and it's three to two. And they're going to swap out Durbin Holmes in this tense situation. Alana Lantana comes in. And with Nixon feeling tense, this is actually a great opportunity to try and bring in Rip Dingers. That's exactly what we're going to do. And this gets up the middle. It's stopped by Michaels. He's safe at second. The only play is the first. And Dingers comes through with an RBI. It's 4-2 for the Moose. Oh, Irene sees a pitch right down the middle. This one goes. Michaels gets it. And gets him at home trying to sneak the run in. So there's two away. Irene fast goes. And she is in at second safely. And this is into center field. It gets down. Irene is heading home. Moon throws, but it is not going to head to home. It's cut off, and it's 6-2 to two for the Moose. All right. Atlanta Lantana is working her way through the lineup right now. But Freeman gets himself another hit. He's 2-2 two for two with a walk on the day, and he's having himself a great day. And this one is in the zone, into center field, and it is down. So Wiggles and Nacho have gone back-to-back -back singles for the past three times they've been to the plate. You gotta love that combo. And Jackson sends this into right field, and it's gonna be down. He's gonna have himself another single to load the bases again. And there's the mojo pop for Hieronymus Jackson. Love to see 
that, and it's Perry Quaker again. He's three for three on the day up against Atlanta Lantana. Oh, that was a great pitch to hit. That one was less good on the ground to Snag Roper, who gets him at one. Quaker beats it out, so the run will score. It's seven to two for the Moose. Ooh, and it's just a steal of third on this one. Tried to get the slow guy going to second, but he doesn't bother. The double play is still in, but they're not going to be able to get this. A choppy ground ball from Spanky Wagner scores the run with the stolen base, and it's 7-3. to three. Enrique Goyo sends this deep to right field. Irene makes the grab at the wall to end the game. What a grab from Irene Fast leaping over the wall. Robbing Goyo of a home run. Moose win. 7-3. I am so hyped by the end of that. <laughs> Woo! All right. Moose out hit the Wild Pigs. Big in that one. 16-7. Finally coming away, snapping that losing streak. Honestly, that was so disappointing <laughs> to be losing those last handful of games. Like, that is such a big relief. After losing, you know, four or five games in a row, that felt very good. Sylvia's having a hard time finding the zone with her pitches. And Bling sends this into left field for a leadoff single in the second. This is barreled. Evan sends this into center field. Tremendo gets it off the wall. He makes the throw to third. And Evan stays at first. So it's first and third. None away in the second. And Celia's in a bit of trouble here early. Steal of second base from Flash Evans. And he's in there easily. So that's two runners in scoring position with none away. And she gets him swinging over the changeup for a big strikeout there. One away. And Battery sends this into center. Oh, Tremendo dies, but can't come up with it. It bounces around behind him. And the Wild Pigs are going to score. It's one to nothing. Tremendo sends this deep to right, but it is going to hook foul. Well, it looks like he's scared level with that big foul ball. It's four straight balls. And the Moose have their first base runner of the game. And this one is sent past the diving first baseman, so Bobbitt's going to get on, and that's the first hit for the Moose in the third inning. None away for Buck Swiner here. And the runners go. It's a sack bunt from Swiner. The catcher picks it up and throws him out at first easily for the first out. But the runner move up, and it's Nacho Crispin. And Chris ships this up the middle. This is going to be at least one. He turns around third. And Swiner's in safely. This ball gets by him, but the pitcher recovers. Moose are up 2-1. to one. And that is some well-executed small ball from the Moose. Luke Michael sends this to center field. Deepest part of the park. Tremendo ranges back, dives. He can't grab it. He got a glove on it, but couldn't come up with it again. That's the second error. Now Bobbitt's dropping the ball. That is... Outrageous. Tremendo just cannot squeeze the ball right now. Another one there. Quaker snags this on the ground, but it is going to score a run. And it's two all. Irene Fast drives this down the left field line, and it gets fair into the corner. Irene turns, and she's going to be in with a stand-up double to lead off the top of the seven. This one wasn't low. Tremendo smacks up the middle on Irina's speed. She turns around. Moon is shallow. He throws it in. But Irene's in in time. And the Moose take the lead 3-2. to two. And a hit and run perfectly executed. The shortstop was out of the way. It would have been hit right at him. But Bobbitt's on with a single. And the Mew Moose are executing their plays perfectly right now. Same thing, a sack bunt from Swiner to move the runners over. 
And that brings up Nacho Crisp. Crisp loops this just over the infield into left field. And Sweater comes around and in time, the throw is off from Hardman. Moose are up five to two. Three, four, five for the Wild Pigs coming up. They're going to want some hits. They're going to want to come back into this game. But let's see if the Moose can hold them down. And you get Spanky Wagner to pop up short center. Crisp is there to make the grab. Out number one. Rosie Hardman just gets the fastball on the outside edge. But Swiner is there on the left. And that's out number two. There it is. High curveball drops it in. Strikeout. Moose win. Great game for the Moose. Five to two. Love to see them coming back. After losing the first game, they take the next two. It's a lot of small ball. Big ups to Buck Swiner in this one. He's not going to be represented on this leaderboard. But those bunts were hugely important for the Moose to score a couple runs for them. Let's see. We got one more game. Moose versus Wild Pigs. Let's see if we can pull three wins out of them in the next one. Game four coming up. Let's see where everybody else ended up. The Sandcats get a win as well. So we're half a game up on them right now. Looks like they played two games in between. So they must have won one, lost one. Um, so that's good. So if the Moose can come out with a win in this. We will be up on the Sandcats, which is what we really want right now. All right, game four, Moose versus Wild Pigs. 3-1 to Chris. And he takes a walk, so Nacho Chris gets on base to start the game. So we're going to go. Nacho Chris steals second. Jackson has to take a strike down the middle, but he's got a runner in scoring position now. And he swings, grounds it over to Roper. Crisp is able to hustle over to third on the play, at least. Jackson's thrown out first. That'll bring up Perry Quaker with one away and a runner on third. And there it goes. Perry Quaker sends it deep to right field. Dust up indeed. Right off the banner, Perry Quaker. 405 feet for the bald bear. And the moose go up two to nothing in the first. As Roman Rhodes drives this into the gap in left. And he doesn't have a ton of speed, but it gets to the wall. He turns around first. Gottfried Storm is in center field. And he throws it in, but he is safe at second with a one-out double. And this gets away from the catcher. So Rhodes is going to head up to third on the play. And Freeman looking to send something to the outfield now. He pops it up into center field. So pretty shallow. Rhodes doesn't want to test that arm he has a good one in center and Rhodes does not have the speed to challenge him and he barrels this up the middle that's going to be an RBI for Nacho Chris Moose take the lead three to nothing left in and Alba's going to get a bloopy single to lead off the bottom of the third that's the first hit for the Wild Pigs in this game. And Flash Evans gets the second hit immediately after on a changeup. So let's see if we can't bust him inside with it this time. And he swings over to Quaker. He throws it to Crisp at second. Over to first. Strikes covering. Makes the double play. So they do have a runner on third for the top of the order. And snag Roper now. But there is two away. And Roper sends this in to left, and Irene slides but can't make the grab, so the run is going to score on Roper's single, and it's 3-1. to one. Fastball on the outside edge, and Roper sends it into right field, and he reaches with a single. You take that. Honestly, the way his, his stats are looking, he is all right, and you got Rosie Hardman behind him. Rosie Hardman goes down. Deep! Oh my goodness! That 
was a shot. Rosie Hardman, 453 feet on a good pitch from Raul Strikes. And she puts the Wild Pigs up 4-3. to three. Ooh, Nacho Crisp lines it into center field. And he's got a two-out single. And it's thrown away. Crisp runs to second. It stays in play, but he's at second safely. Jackson barrels this. The third baseman stops it. He picks it up, and it's not in time. So Jackson gets away with one there. He is on first and third for Perry Quaker. Perry Quaker on the ground, and this gets through. So the Moose tie this game. Perry Quaker single. It's 4-4. Four to four. Jose Tremendo slaps the first pitch he sees from Lantana in the left for a leadoff single in the top of the eighth. And Tremendo leaves for second, and he is in there safely with a strike on Swiner. And so he goes, but this is popped up. Oh, he doesn't go. It gets down, and they get the out at first, so a wasted sack bunt as Tremendo thought this was going to be caught by the catcher. And there's one away. Rhodes chips this just foul. Oh. Barely on the other side of that line. And this one is popped into the gap. But it's caught by Goyo. Two away. Wiggles Freeman is 0 for 3 on the day, but he's been clutched before. Let's see if he can do it now. And he sends it up the middle. Wiggles Freeman. Tremendo takes the turnaround third to throw home. It's going to be close. He's in safely. It's 5-4 to four for the Moose. Winkles Freeman, baby. Coming through. This one is sent to deep center field. And it's a home run for the Wild Pigs to tie this game up. Oh. A 441-foot shot from Snag Roper. And it's 5-5. Five to five. And it's on the ground to bob it. He makes the grab. Out number three. This game is going into extra innings. It has been a tough one. The Moose have out hit the Wild Pigs handily. 14 to 8. But this game is tied at 5. That's what happens when you leave runners on. Four straight balls to Nacho Chris to put him on in the 11th to lead off the inning. Going for second. That's a ball. And Crisp is in at second safely. And this gets away. And Crisp is into third safely. Just barely. And Jackson sends this into center field. And it is down. It is Miss Godfrey Storm. Can't make the play. Nacho Crisp comes in at 6-5 to five for the Moose. Let's go. Klaus the game comes in to try and finish this off. Roper barrels this into center field, but Tremendo is going to get there for out number one. <laughs> and the very dangerous Blute Michaels. He's been held to two singles so far, so you've got to think he is due. And this is on the ground to Nacho Crisp, and Michaels is taken care of two away. And this is on the ground. Hardman keeps this game going with a ground ball into center field. Oh, and Rockman can't handle it. Oh, no. All right. Ernie Blings is in. Let's see if they let him hit. He is rattled. They do. So this is our best chance at getting something out. Got a runner in scoring position. The winning run is on first. And he hits the curveball to Tremendo in center field. And this scores a run. This game is tied at six. Oh, my God. Uh, I am exhausted. This has been a long series and a crazy end to it at this point. But we are going to finish it out strong. We got a Speciallo on the mound still. Jose Tremendo comes in. 
chips it on the ground to snag Roper. One away. Hook Swiner feeling a little better after his last at bat coming through with a hit. And he gets a hold of one here. This one is going to right field. Buck Swiner, let's go! Buck Swiner, the man no one thought would do it, hits a 362 foot shot in the 12th inning to put the moose up 7 to 6. Let's go! Blows the fastball by him on the outside edge. Klaus the game. Strikeout. Out number one. Swings under the fastball. Two Ks for Klaus the game. And they're one out away from ending this game. Godfried Storm lifts this into right. Irene fast calls for it. Makes the grab. Out number three. Moose win. Seven to six. Holy. I am tired. That was a wild game. <laughs> I cannot believe Buck Swiner coming through with that home run in the top of the 12th inning. I never saw that coming. Shock the world, kid. Unreal. I mean, yeah, good good outing from Rattle Strikes to start. He kind of got rocked a little bit with that big home run from Rosie Hardman. Other than that, he was really solid. Bullpen shut it down. Nice to see the Moose win in this and take the series 3-1, to one, get back on top. That'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Casey. If you liked the video, please subscribe and like it. It helps a lot. It means a lot to me. And we will see you next time when the Moose take on the Grapplers.